Hi guys, welcome to the CrossFit Liverpool Handstand Challenge. Sorry I've been away for a few days, uh, which has been busy with gym work. Uh, we've still been practicing our handstands, so hopefully you have as well. Uh, again, I know that's a few people following behind on the program. They've started like the first week. Uh, so hopefully by the time you get to that, you've got a nice consistent run anyway. Um, we're going to focus a little bit on headstands on today's workout. So it's been a few days since we did headstands. So maybe go back to your frog stands in your warm up as well. So what I'll do is I'll put up a slow down, well, a slightly sped up variation of the warm up uh, where we're just going to do one round. Uh, we want you to do maybe two to three rounds of this though. So we're still going to do your wrists ups that we've been doing, your wrist rocks forwards and backwards, turn your hands the other way, rocking backwards to stretch out those wrists. Uh, and then we do your wrist ups to try and strengthen up your wrists as well. Uh, we then go on to your uh, shoulder stretches on the bench, just trying to get those shoulders and those triceps stretched off. Uh, and then we'll focus on your straddle good mornings. What I'll do as well for those of you who need to practice uh, your headstands, we'll just go through a basic frog stand position. So your frog stands, if you want to go on to an advanced frog stand, that's fine. Start off on a basic frog stand, I'll put your video up and then progress to your advanced frog stand. on shoulder flexion and shoulder extension so we'll do 20 seconds of shoulder flexion 10 seconds of rest 20 seconds of shoulder flexion 10 seconds of rest 20 seconds of shoulder flexion shoulder flexion 10 seconds of rest then we'll move on to three rounds of shoulder extension yeah 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest so we've flipped that on its head so you're pretty much doing three tabata rounds of your shoulder flexion and extension warm up guys you're going to do three rounds two exercises okay so you're going to do five bunny hops ten hollow rocks uh, if you need to use the wall for support on the bunny hops that's completely fine remember the goal is to make sure that you're gaining confidence uh, trying to get your hips over your fingers 
Okay, so I'll show you one of those rounds maybe with kind of like the wall use uh, and the other round with just uh, a freestanding variation. For your skill component guys, we're going to work on wall liftoffs. Uh, I know we do these pretty much every single time we're doing wall work, uh, but they are a really good way to learn to strengthen up your fingers. So again, uh, give yourself maybe a little bit of time limit, so spend 10 minutes kicking up. Uh, for those of you who like your OCD, maybe kind of every minute on the minute kicking up, uh, trying to pry yourself away from the wall. If you tend to find you can stay up there for a little bit longer, maybe get yourself your, self your set number of attempts. Just based off what you've done on the past few attempts at this guy. So let's say, for example, by the time you're getting to five or six rounds, you're really, really struggling. You're getting tired. You're struggling to maintain that hollow position. Uh, then maybe just stop, call it a day, uh, and then try and build up your endurance in later sessions. But try and think about quality rather than just going for like an inordinate amount of time. Okay, so hopefully you've progressed working on your levers away from the wall, either in terms of um, learning to use your fingers a little bit more, a bit more body awareness. Uh, and we're going to add on kind of like one of the things that we've had where people are struggling to squeeze their heels together. Uh, so we'll, we'll add on a little bit of a drill that you can do in the workout at the end. So as I said earlier, you're going to be doing headstands. So you can do a 30 second headstand into uh, 10 pike leg lifts. Rest and you can do it three times. So these aren't things that we haven't done before, uh, but what we are going to do is add in a little bit of progress with them. So we've done uh, frog stands and advanced frog stands. We want you to try and work onto uh, a regular headstand today. If you're not confident, maybe do this up against the wall or just go back to doing your frog stand or advanced frog stand if you don't feel like you're ready to uh, progress yet. Uh, one of the important things though is when we're going into that kind of like that new position with the headstand where we're straightening the legs out, we don't really want to be completely perpendicular to the floor. We want to be at a little bit of a lean. So if we just have a look here, really we don't want to stack the head, the hips, the, the feet on top of each other. What we do want to try and do is lean a little bit so that the weight's more towards the hand. When we're going into uh, a freestanding handstand push-up, what that means is we're going to push uh, away and the weight's going to be off the head and it's going to be more towards the hands allowing you to drive a little bit better. It also makes it a little bit easier to feel that hollow position as well. Okay, so I'll take that from the side and we'll see if we can learn to lean into it. If you do feel like you're going to fall back down, guys, go back either one leg then the other or go back down into your uh, your frog stand position. Um, again, it's if you're learning that lean position, you should be fairly safe and not tipping completely over anyway. Uh, and then in your pike leg lifts, what we're also going to focus on is trying to squeeze the heels together. So I want you to take a pair of socks and I just want you to place it between your heels and squeeze as you're doing your pike leg lifts. Remember, the further forward your hands are, the harder it's going to be. But try and keep a nice upright torso all the way through. So a quick review of positioning for your headstand. Remember, we want to think about that tripod and then your hands are going to go where your elbows are and your head is going to go where your hands are. Uh, from your, your frog stand, you're going to progress into an advanced frog stand. Once you go from an advanced frog stand, try and straighten your legs out, squeeze your bum, drive your heels together, and then try and go from that vertical position to that slightly leaning towards your hands position.
So for your pike leg lifts, pair of socks, place them between your heels. Remember, the further back we are, the easier it is. Try not to go to a point where we're here. Uh, if you are really struggling, guys, try and get yourself, like, if you're really struggling to kind of, like, reach forward, maybe get yourself two blocks in front of your hands and work on support from there. So we're going to go from here, lift up. If we're okay, progress forward a little bit. Squeeze your heels together. Really try and keep those socks in between your heels. And then lifting as high as we physically can. You notice I've got a little bit of round to the back. Let's try and bring that belly forward. Yeah, so that we're trying to be as upright as we can. 